World Peace and Other Fourth Grade Achievements is a touching documentary by filmmaker Chris Farina, and uh, we got a chance to sit down and talk to him about that, and uh, here's part one of our interview. It focuses on a teacher, a guy who's been teaching for over 30 years in Charlottesville, Virginia, John Hunter, and he's a master teacher, um, you know, public school, elementary school teacher, son of a former teacher, and he created this exercise called the World Peace Game, which takes, basically takes these nine and ten-year-old kids, they take on the role of fictional, leaders of fictional countries, and they have to extricate themselves over a couple month process of all the myriad set of crises. And it's unbelievable what he's teaching these kids. As we say, he's really teaching the work of peace to these kids. Every start of every class, he's giving them re lessons from Sun Tzu. Um, it's, it's amazing how complicated it is what these kids go through, and yet they so rise to the occasion because he treats them such love and respect and dignity and they they just rise I mean it's, it's an example of a great teacher and how the the students are so engaged when they're treated that way yeah I mean this does sound very complicated I mean uh, how, how in-depth does this game go like what are the situations they deal with it's unreal they'll get these situations they're basically they're like the leaders of uh, they're they're thrown in as new leaders in countries that have a myriad set of crises ongoing, like in the verge of conflict, interrelated, economic, military, environmental, just, it's, it's really mind-boggling. They'll get this situation paper and it's probably 16 or 20 crises, but then others arise through the process, through sure. random cards, every action has a consequence, and that's a lot of the, the lessons for these kids, that whatever they do, they have They're to think out. through to what the effect is. And it's, it's really complicated, but again, these kids live and breathe it for two months. They're so engaged in it. I mean, we, you know, we've talked to a number of parents about it. They're not in the film, but these kids come home and they're thinking about it. They're talking about it the entire time. At breakfast, they're trying to figure out what the next crisis is, how to deal with it. And it's, you know, and they're unbelievably cute nine and ten year olds yeah. so it's great to see nine and ten year olds discussing world diplomacy yeah I mean that, that's fascinating because you don't stop to think that a kid that age could handle something that's that's pretty heavy yeah, you know we're, we're having a problem handling that as adults there's some lessons to be learned <laughs> <laughs> there really are and I think that kids at this age can, are more open to thinking outside the box. They don't have such fixed ideas. Like what John would say, and the teacher, I mean, his story is, is a huge part of this mm -hmm. as well. He's a, his amazing story. But he, what he says is he wants to teach these children how to be comfortable with the unknown, that with the, the rapid change that's going to be happening through their lifetime, it's not just a question of knowing fixed answers or, you know, dates and just, you know, that, that kind of factual knowledge. Right. Instead, it's the capability to deal with just, you know, so much change and be comfortable with it, to be able to handle problem solving to questions that don't have simple right or wrong answers. Right, right.